today we're going to have a smackdown as to what sensor is best for determining sleep patterns for your autistic, severely autistic son or daughter. We've looked at Akara and we've looked at Fitbit. So that's what the smackdown is all about. Now I've talked about Akara before. This little sleep sensor, wireless, doesn't have to wear anything because our son won't wear anything on his wrist, won't wear a ring, refuses to do that. You mount this on the wall above his head and it, it senses his heart rate, it senses how well he's sleeping during the night. The problem with this is you've got to get a hub. It also goes on the wall so it connects and then you have to get a 2.4 gigahertz sensor or a network router. So a lot of hardware, a lot of expense ended up costing us maybe three, four hundred dollars. And the problem is, here's the sleep data, you know, showing that he slept less than seven hours, yet here's the Fitbit sleep data, you know, almost a little bit more than eight hours. And so we think the Fitbit is a little bit more accurate than the Akara. The problem, of course, is you wear a Fitbit on your wrist. Not necessarily. So here's the trick for today. My wife found on Amazon ankle bracelets. So she just took off the wrist bracelet and put on the Fitbit. Put on the Fitbit. This ankle bracelet, it's adjustable. So you've got this little adjustable thing right here. You can tighten it as much as you want so it fits nice and snug on his ankle at night and it hardly bugs him at all. It's very soft material. It's not abrasive. You can have it a little bit loose until he gets used to it. And that solved the problem. We strongly recommend that you get one that's waterproof. I don't think Fitbit sells anything that's not waterproof anymore. You can go out to Amazon and get Fitbit clones for like $22. The one that we like is the Inspire 3. It's like hundred bucks but it's waterproof and we've taken Michael swimming we put him in the shower this thing is great it captures sleep better than a car it also captures his steps so you can take reading on his exercise and see how that relates relates to his behavior so the winner between that smackdown is Fitbit and we recommend strongly that you go forward with that and the more expensive Fitbits will even monitor stress and heart rate so you can determine if a meltdown's fixing to go, or fixing to happen before it actually happens. So Fitbit isn't paying us anything for this, but we've used it for years and we still think that's one of the best choices out there today, even though it's a little bit more expensive than some of the clones you can get on Amazon. Have a great week. Until next time, see ya.